Hey guys and welcome to a item guide for the cycle medical supplies. This item has a K marks value of 759 to the traders and an item weight of 10 and it can also be stacked up to an amount of 10 per stack. When it comes to the item spawning locations, the best locations for the medical supplies on Bright Sands is the Waterfall Lab as well as the Vaccine Labs. The crash ship does have a few but it is definitely by the waterfall labs and the vaccine labs when it does come to crescent falls though it is a lot more of a common spawn the starport area does have a huge amount of spawns as well as the green prospects in the center of the map now for me personally when it comes to bright sands the best locations i had was the waterfall lab as well as the vaccine labs and then when it comes to crescent falls the green prospects was my best location and now starting off with the crafting the uncommon strong med kit you are going to need 300 k marks as well as one medical supply and two bright cat mushrooms on to the rare combat med kit you are going to need 450 k marks two medical supplies one pale ivy blossom and three waterweed filaments and then on to the missions Starting off with Osiris, Path to Strong Med Kits Part 1, you are going to need 3 Marauder Flesh, 3 Medical Supplies, and 15 Waterweed Filaments. Again, with Osiris Stimulating Developments Part 1, you are going to need 4 Medical Kits for this. And then finally, over to Osiris again, Combat Ready Part 2, you are going to need 1 Portable Lab, 10 Glowy Bright Cap Mushrooms, and 5 Medical Supplies on to the quarters now there is only one upgrade which is your stash size at level six and it is the third out of the three upgrades you are going to need 133,595 k marks you're going to need 23 medical supplies two pure vesselite and 86 kovalev scripts and of course, don't forget to check out the official Wikipedia for the cycle, the cyclefrontier.wiki. This is an awesome resource for anything to do with the cycle. It does have the standard, you know, the wiki side of things where it's got all the information about the gear and all that wonderful stuff about every single item in the game but they've also got companion sites over to the right hand side which is an interactive map item trackers weapon calculators and low date generators and they're also developing a phone app as well which will be coming out soon so in this case we're going to head over to the interactive map and we're going to be typing up here the medical supplies click the little search icon on the right hand side and you can see a bunch of numbers will now actually pop up on the screen these do correlate to where and the amount of the items that spawn in this area so in this case if we're clicking vaccine labs it does show you the spawns inside of vaccine labs so of course it does spawn very commonly inside of the medical cases as well as a few hard spawns on the top of the vaccine labs now over to the waterfall labs you can see all of these hearts these are all of the medical case spawns as well as a few hard spawns over here up at the top where the extract is not the one over to the western part over to the eastern part there is a huge amount of hard spawns up there when it does come over to crescent falls we just click the little search icon again and we zoom out you can see green prospects got 26 pinnacle labs have got 15 and the starport area does have 25 so if we click on the green prospect area you can see there is a definitely a fair few amount of the medical cases dotted around as well as just down in the general area there is quite a few hard spawns over by the starport warehouse as well as by the starport landing pad this is the area where you do have the wonderful Jeffs that are lurking around. I hope you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out the Twitch channel. I live stream every single day over on twitch.tv slash piranha at 7 a.m. GMT, which is around about 2 a.m. EST. Also, do not forget to check out our Discord as well as the website, thecyclefrontierhelpline.com, as we do have a huge community which is dedicated to helping you guys over on the Discord. As well, don't forget to check out the 
the official cycle wikipedia which is the cyclefrontier.wiki they do have loads of information as well as a mini map as well as item trackers as well as a huge amount of resources over on there so definitely go and check them out and a huge thank you to the patrons supporting this channel over on patreon.com slash piranha tv and especially a big thank you to beansy freddy and justin asdf for your continued support 